it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Tool, and it's a bottle of the Hibernate. And it's been described as a Belgium wheaty cream ale. There's a look at the label. Not a lot of written stuff on the front. Here's the tool badge, or tool, should I say. That's the name of the beer. White bottle cap. Let's get it open into a glass and see what we get. I do like my Belgian beers. This one's coming in at 6% ABV. Plenty of smoke on the opening. So Belgian cream ale. As always with a Belgium style beer, you've got lots of carbonation. And that lovely Belgium yeast. Tool from Denmark. So it's not a it's not a Belgium beer from Belgium, it's a Danish beer brewing a Belgium style beer. Let's make that kind of clear before we go on. I know a lot of you know that Tool are from Denmark, but in case we get uh, a few new viewers um, who, who don't know where this brewery is, they're from Denmark. It's a nice golden coloured ale, nice levels of carbonation. Quite clear. I reckon I'll be able to show you that sediment later on in the review. You can just see a little bit of it there but for now let's get the aroma on this quite clear amber coloured ale oh belgium wheaty cream ale it smells really hoppy Those of grassy, lemony hops. That obvious kind of Belgium candied sugar aroma. Candied fruits. Oh, it's very mouth-watering. I really want to dive into this one. Cheers. Oh wow, blimey that is really good, really really good beer that is. It's not really, I suppose I'd say it's unfiltered, an unfiltered beer rather than a full on bottle conditioned beer, it's not, there's no yeast really in this glass. I suppose if you're looking at it on the as they put it on the label it kind of looks creamy. If you were to kind of describe creamy in a beer it would look like this. But wow it is really good really big tasty beer. It's very grapefruity, and then it's it's creamy. It's medium mouthfeel. I call it. Uh, you can call it creamy if you like, but I, I'd rather, if you're going to go down the technical road, I'd say it's kind of a nice medium, kind of quite rich mouthfeel, but nice American hops, grapefruits, lemon. Citrusy, little bit of orange peel. Belgium yeast, yeah, definitely Belgium yeast. It's good. It's really, really good. And I'm not surprised. Uh, this bottle of beer is a Christmas present for my wife, craft beer lady. 
Um, she was kind enough when she was in Cardiff. She popped into Brewdog and she picked us up in Brewdog. And I reckon it must be a great job working at Brewdog. They must have, it, it might be James Watt or Martin Dickey. They might be sitting there tasting the beers that they want to sell. The export beers that come in from around the world. They may say, right, we want this, we want this, we want this. We want the best beer possible in our fridges. So I'm not surprised it's a great beer. They really know their beer. Um, yeah, it, it's top class stuff, this beer. It's really quite, quite a complex beer. I wasn't expecting, and this is the trouble, it's kind of a, men, a mind bender. When you, when you think what a beer from the label sounds like, it goes in your mind and you think, right, this is what this beer kind of should be, or you hope it to be. And it describes the beer as, um, as I say, a Belgian wheaty cream ale. And then it says, the year is nearly over, the nights turn longer and longer, make sure your storage is full and packed for winter, and hibernate until everything blossoms again. So even with that kind of line, that, that paragraph, you're thinking, and when it says Belgian wheaty cream ale, you think, yeah, Belgian beer could qualify as that kind of hearty, warming, kind of spicy style beer. That's what I was expecting. When I, when I looked at it and when I opened it. But to be honest, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it's such a great beer. It's, it's, it's okay, it's bent my mind in all sorts of different directions because I'm thinking it's something and it's, and it's really not what I thought it was going to be. It's, it's a Belgian style kind of as it says, cream ale, but with lovely American hops in. Let's quickly show you the beer as I drink it. So you've got nice, look at the carbonation chasing the beer up the side of the glass. There's nice lacing on the glass. It's a solid brew. It's a very, well, it's more than solid. It's, it's quite an excellent beer. Tool Hibernate, 6% ABV, how would I rate it? I'm going to go 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. I think this is a fabulous beer. It's well worth trying. Please try it. If it's not in Brewdog now, um, try and find it somewhere else. But check your local Brewdog bar. I hope they got it for you. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews. And cheers.